Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. It is Follow a Sketch Friday. Today I am using this sketch right here from Jana Eubank that has the circular element. So I decided to pull out some uh, backgrounds that happened to happen when I was making stencil prints with my mandala stencils from Scrapping Reflections. And I haven't figured out which one I want to use yet, but it's going to be one of those. And then I'm going to do these two photos. This is my daughter and I uh, sitting outside the Millennium Falcon uh, in Disneyland. So let's see what I can do. Now I decided to go with the blue one. I figured that it looked better with the papers I was pulling out. Um, when I was going with the other one, it kind of looked like poo. <laughs> was not was not a good match. So I am using the blue one. And I'm, I'm following the sketch uh, pretty closely. Kind of. <laughs> so it's just a matter of trying to figure out where to place the pattern paper. So I am using some Paige Evans uh, Go the Scenic Route. Um, I don't... I don't know if it is go the scenic route or go the scenic route. So how do you pronounce R-O-U-T-E? Is it route or route? So it's weird because I think it's one of those words that I pronounce both ways. Kind of like, um, kind of like caramel and caramel. Like I eat caramel apples, but I eat caramel candies or I put caramel topping on ice cream. Um, but it's a caramel apple. So that's just one thing. Also, creek and crick. I'm, I'm totally going off topic here, guys, but this is what I do. <laughs> Welcome to my channel if this is the first video you've ever seen. Um, so a creek has a name like Deep Creek Lake in Maryland, um, but we used to go tubing in the crick. Um, Anyway, just it's just weird things. So sometimes I think I've said go to scenic route. Sometimes I think I've said go to scenic route. Um, I guess it's just a thing. So tell me, how do you pronounce it? I say all that for you to tell me how you pronounce it. So I'm using that collection. I'm using some of this pink fresh. What is this called? The scrap is still on my desk. Um, let's stay home. And I'm also using, I think this was some pink... Paisley, I want to say this um, plaid paper. It's got hedgehogs and cupcakes on the other side of it. So I think it's the the hey happy happy hello. What is this called? Hey hello from Jen Hadfield, not Pink Paisley. Jen Hadfield. Ooh, I totally screwed that one up, huh? Okay, so I am going to go ahead and um, mat these two photos just on some plain cardstock. It's just plain 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I do have a stash of that uh, good stuff. The color does not exactly match, but there is a lot of color going on in this layout, and they all don't exactly match each other, and I'm okay with it. Um, I don't think that when I scrapbook, I need to have exact color matches uh, for everything. If I did, I would scrapbook with one collection, um, but I really like mixing and matching all the things. That's what gives me the most joy, um, is mixing and matching all the things. And most of the time, I don't want somebody to do that for me. Um, most of the time, I like to treat my room as one big kit and make that happen. And I just looked down and realized that this sketch kind of disappeared for a moment. I'll try to get that back in there. No guarantees. No guarantees. Um, this layout is actually not going to have journaling on it. Um, there is a big space for journaling on the sketch. But this is going to be in the Millennium Falcon uh, series in the album with those four pages that fold out. So I don't need journaling on every single one of those layouts. It does not need to happen. Um, it just doesn't. I could have done one layout and put journaling on it and called it done. Or I could have done, you know, the, the eight layouts that I'm doing and journaling a little bit on some and not any on the others. And since it is my album and I like to play with the pretty paper and I like to play with the pretty things, that's what I'm going to do. 
Now, I went ahead and took that adventure sticker because I only had two pieces of the chipboard um, in kind of this colorful frame, um, colorful frame style. And then I go ahead and find some flat word stickers that kind of coordinate with the color frames. Um, and I just, I just like the way it turned out. So I have lots of words on the page. Um, I do like to decorate with words. Um, I have three large words on the page that all could be the title, but guess what? They're not. I am going to put more words on the page. Um, and then I'm going to grab the puffy stickers. So I go ahead and um, put down a coordinating heart with each of the frame colors. And I also popped on some camera puffy stickers from Maggie Holmes' Sweet Story. And I actually think I'm going to use everything on this puffy sticker page, um, pro probably except for the butterflies. I think I can use everything else. Um, I'm even going to use these little soda cans and tell the story about how I gave up soda. <laughs> So I do grab these Simple Stories foam stickers. This is from the Kate and Ash collection. And I pull out the Hey Girl. And it is in a light pink that again, does not completely match any of the other light pinks on this page, but it's bright, colorful, and fun. And even though it isn't an exact match, all of this I think coordinates well enough so that it works. And if you disagree and you think this is like color puke, then I am so sorry, um, but I like it. So maybe you would be the person that would make sure that all of your colors coordinate it. Maybe you would do this with the same collection. Um, that way it didn't have so many varying shades and tones of the same. So the title is going to be, Hey Girl, I Like Your Spaceship. And that might be sacrilege to some very diehard um, Star Wars fans if I'm calling the Millennium Falcon a spaceship. Um, I mean, it is. It is a spaceship. But it's kind of a play on um, the Lego guy. This is spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. Um, so it's that. Uh, because when, when we got there, so when you when you walk in and you see it, for the first time, you are freaking amazed and you really think that this thing can take off and fly into space. Um, you just do. So it's amazing um, and that's where the title came from. And that's gonna do it, you guys. Uh, make sure that you ring the bell after you subscribe, that way you'll get all the notifications. Um, and then go ahead and subscribe. I'm doing a video a day, that's all I gotta say. I'll see you again real soon for another video.